Welcome back to Digital DNA Glasgow. My name is Alistair Cameron from Starticus and I am joined by John Ellis. Afternoon. From Pulse Market. Yes, nice Lovely to, meet, to you. meet you. Yes. Yeah. Can you start with just a wee pitch about what Pulse is around? Yeah, so so we're a startup, we're, we're the Celtic connection because we've got two Irish founders and two Scottish founders. Mm -hmm. And um, we are a ethical procurement yep. and supplier management stroke vendor risk management platform. Yep. Is there a particular sector that you're trying to kind of tap into, industry sector? Yeah, so so originally we set out that we were going to be focused based on financial services. Yep. Because the four founders are all for the financial services yep. sector. Take myself, grey hair, mid yep. 50s, I've been in it since I left the school. Yeah. Um, so so basically what, what, what we had done is, is as I say, the four years, similar ages, yep similar backgrounds but we all wanted to kind of move from kind of we, we were all in kind of um, people businesses consultancy yep. businesses yep. and we wanted a product yeah and um, so what we've done is we actually went out to our contacts mm -hmm. for a better word I mean we had over 100 one-to-one -one interviews yep speaking to people about challenges that they mm -hmm. have and stuff and and procurement and supplier management was a common theme yeah so when, when we're saying procurement and supplier management, are we thinking of, say for example, a big financial organisation or institution, all of the suppliers that come through their, their system, you provide the software for that uh, ethical process to happen? So yeah. it's more of a compliance tick box, if that makes sense, but online? Well, it's not just a tick box, yeah. So you are right in terms of, so, so our platform, we've worked with procurement consultants, mm -hmm. what we've tried to do is to standardise the, the the process yeah um, and in terms of the ethical uh, part is, is helping firms understand the supply chain so if you think of the world these days you've got ESG yeah coming along we've got more and more cyber crime yeah uh, coming along so it's understanding your your supply chain. So, so so pulse as a as a company yeah we've got a relatively small supply chain but yeah how how much do we really understand about that for sure you know so you know yeah. so do they have cyber credentials? Yeah. yeah. Do they have any ESG credentials? Do yeah. they know what ESG is? Yeah, it's yeah, the sustainability development goals. Yeah. 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 And, and and so what we've done is in yeah. our platform is we've effectively built standardised templates. Yeah. We've built some educational material to help yeah. companies understand Aye. what the ESG is. Yeah. But it's, it's much much wider than ESG. It's understanding. Yeah. Like think think of where we are just now. Yeah. You know, they're talking about. Uh, an impending recession. Yeah. What's the resilience of the supply chain? What's yeah. the financial resilience of the supply yeah. chain? Um, what exposure again? Ukraine war. What exposure yeah. did they have to Russia? Yeah. Do you know that? Yeah, yeah. And most companies don't yeah. know any yeah. of that at all. So, uh, uh, is there a compliance issue? Not issue, sorry. Is there a compliance element to this as well? Like, I'm guessing yes. within the the more we talk about the sustainable development goals, for example. Um, there are certain things that organisations must be doing now. So I'm guessing, obviously, from a compliance perspective, you add that element as well, do you? Yes. Yeah. 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 So if you think of we're working for financial services firms, you know, um, no, they're heavily regulated. Yeah. Right. And, and, and obviously that, that, that's why it's so complicated to do yeah. due diligence with the larger yeah. financial institutions. Yeah. What we're trying to do is to try and standardise it and streamline it yeah. and make it easier and more efficient. Amazing. And, and 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 it's partly why we're not targeting the largest firms to start with. We, yeah. We're targeting tier two, tier three yeah. financial firms, but we're also targeting the SME market yeah. um, and, and helping the SMEs understand yeah. what they need to do to engage with larger financial firms. Yes. Um, and, and it shows you how. What's the right word here? I mean, in terms of your as I say, we focus financial services. For, the first company that's going to run mm -hmm. a procurement process through our platform mm -hmm. uh, is a carbon consultancy. Amazing. Who are doing um, uh, RFPs, requests for yeah. proposal. They're doing that basically for firms looking for energy solutions. Sure. So they're looking at solar panel solutions, wind yeah. power turbine solutions. We never in a million years thought that's what would be the first yeah. first part of business yeah. would be. Yeah. And you know, it's amazing. It just shows you the versatility. Yeah. So is it, 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 it's the onboarding process you're at at the moment then obviously with clients and, and are, you, are you testing it per client uh, time rather than opening it up per se? 
Yeah, well, we're, we're, we're going through what we, I would call a soft launch. Mm -hmm. So we're on board in 18 firms just yeah. now. Mm -hmm. um, and, and the 18 firms are all more uh, SMEs in yeah. terms of we're on board in a digital marketing firm. Yeah. A, I'll give you that as a really, really good example. Yeah. The digital marketing firm, they've come onto our platform and the first thing they've done is they've done, so, we, so we've created an ESG passport, which mm -hmm. is an educational kind of product to, yeah. to help firms understand what it is, what they need to do to get them thinking, yeah. and then we provide educational material. Yeah. Digital market firms issued that to 16 of their, their suppliers. Yeah. 16 suppliers have registered on our platform to then take the passport. Fantastic. That then gives us 16 firms to upsell. Yeah. And what, what the, the market firms now followed through with mm -hmm. is they've now done an a information security due diligence questionnaire, mm -hmm. which is a standard template on our platform. Yeah. Then they've issued that to their, their supply chain. So, so now they're starting to engage the supply chain and ask the right questions Amazing. so they understand it better. Yeah. And the reason behind it, that mar digital marketing firm is dealing with, like say, Banco Santander, it's yeah. dealing with um, Scottish Power, it's yeah. dealing with large corporates who have regulatory demands, Yeah. who need to know information. So they're starting to ask more and more questions, especially yeah. very, very soon. Everybody's going to be asked around carbon reporting. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, SMEs, carbon yeah. reporting. Yeah, yeah. So I'm guessing, in a, in, a, in a way, the more that, say, two tier, three tier, they, that, at that stage, the more they basically validate and, and kind of tick those things off and that passport, that digital passport, the more ability they have to sell to the larger firms and become exactly. part of that supply process. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. So so the the concept behind us creating passport. So yeah. so passports are it's non accreditation that yeah. it's like a, a pathway within our platform. For sure. Um, so I was at a FinTech event at the end of last year, mm -hmm. October, November last year. And that's where the concept grew because there was fintechs in the audience. Yeah asking questions of the panel, yeah. basically saying, how do we get financial services ready? Yes. How do we get procurement ready? Yeah. And, and they're crying out for help. Yeah. So while I was there, I just came up with the idea, yeah. went, well, if we had a passport, yeah. which is a painting by numbers, yeah. to basically get them on the journey, to get yeah. them to understand it. And then what we're doing is through our platform, we're yeah. doing product extensions into other people's products. Yeah. So we get them ready yeah. to understand, and then we pass them on yeah. to partners who can then take them through accreditation. Yeah, perfect. So, like, obviously, let's we we got to end the interview in a second, and I don't want to forget to ask you, in terms of obviously how people find you and connect with you, like, what's the best social media platforms, and also your website, and and obviously, like, are you on LinkedIn, for example? Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, we're all over LinkedIn. Yeah, good. Yeah, so so you got a Pulse Market page on LinkedIn. Yeah. Yep. Um, we, we obviously the Pulse Market website, yep. so it's pulsemarket.com, yep. uh, and then obviously we've got Pulse Market Buzz yep. for our for our um, Twitter account. Yep. Um, and the one thing we'd like to finish off is, you know, we're open for business. Great. We are looking actively looking for people to come on yep. the platform, join the community, yep. you know, and be part of something exciting. Excellent, excellent. No, no. Listen, it's been great chatting with you and obviously finding out a little bit more about what you're doing as well. I think obviously it's an area which is prime for some mega disruption because it's yeah. no longer that you can have a filing cabinet full of all your <laughs> things that you think you do yeah. and you need to be able to prove that you do. And, and obviously that digital passport, that, that kind of element of being able to share it with those bigger organisations is a fantastic yeah. idea. But one of the things we've got, we've got full transparency, your supply chain. So yeah. you've got a supply chain dashboard, you can see all your suppliers, yeah. you can see what accreditations have yeah. got at a glance yeah. instantaneously. Awesome. Go check out Pulse Market. And uh, my name is Asta. I'm at the Digital DNA event in Glasgow. Pleasure speaking. We'll be back soon with some more chats. Thank you.